I come to you today to just say this, man. The Jaguars, they just need to let the Nick Foles shit go. Like, for real now. Because um, now they're talking about the Eagles, the only way they can keep is if they franchise tag him and he'll have a one-year $25 million deal. And if that don't work, then in free agency, like, free agency, if we try to get him there, we're going to get fucked big time. Because there's four teams going for his services right now. The, us, it'd be us, the Giants, the Redskins, and the Dolphins. Maybe some, maybe even the Broncos, too, if I'm not that. Like, those are teams that could possibly get it. And Nick Foles is about the only quarterback in free agency right now that's definitely a clear-cut starter. Like, I'd have him ranked like this. Have Nick Foles, Teddy Bridgewater, Tyrod Taylor, um, what's this is going to get cut? So, Ryan Tannehill, um, Joe Fucko, and then uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's the list of quarterbacks we got to work with in free agency. Out of all them, Nick Foles is probably the only one that would be a decent starter. Maybe Teddy Bridgewater. Everybody else is past their fucking prime and basically going to be a backup the rest of their career. Like, any of these fuckers, I don't want them to start opening day. Like, I would, be, like... If if I had if I saw Ryan Tannehill, Joe Flacco, or fucking Tyrod Taylor come out opening day, I'd be scared to death right now. Fuck, some of them, a couple of them, I'd rather just fucking keep Bortles one more year, which is sad to say. So, like I said, so like, you know, people are gonna go hard for Nick Foles, and we're gonna end up overpaying for him if we win it. So like, I I don't want to do that. And all, the only way, the only way I'd be okay with get with, and like, I like Nick Foles. I'd be all right with him starting, but not for the price, not for no damn $25 million a year. The only way I'd be, the only way I would be okay with paying Nick Foles $25 million this year, like, let's say, you know, we're going to trade with the Eagles. You take either that third round pick that we got for Dante Fowler, not the one in the top 10. The third round pick we got for Dante Hour or a fourth round pick. And you take Blake Bortles for Nick Foles. Cause let's be because let's be honest. We're gonna have to eat Blake Bortles contract. Like the sixteen million dollars that he's guaranteed. We either gotta eat it in all sixteen million this year or eight million dollars this year and eight million dollars next year. Cause ain't man, ain't nobody picking up that fucking contract for Blake Bortles. Nobody in their right mind, like, I don't give a fuck if you offer somebody a seventh round pick five years from now. They're not taking it. Like, fucking, I mean, if he was making bare minimum, like, maybe a couple million dollars a year, then sure, it'd probably be easy to trade Blake Bortles. But for what he's getting paid now, ain't nobody taking that shit. So... It would actually work out good for the for the Eagles with pay, with him because I think it's like two or three more years that they have till they have to pay Carson Wentz. Actually, it might be two. I think it's two. I could, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's two before they have to pay Carson Wentz. So Bortles has got, Bortles has two years left on his contract. So you know that'll work out by the time Bortles' contract's up. Then they would have to t pay pay uh, Wentz, and then you know they could either move on from him or give it him or give him less of a salary to be a backup. They can probably restructure it after the first year. But, um... So, yeah, that'd be the... If we gotta pay Nick Foles $25 million, I want that $16 million hit off for Blake Bortles' contract. And then the worst-case scenario, Foles fucks up this year, he made his $25 million, and then fucking... We just drive the quarterback next year. But personally... I'm ready to, I want to just go all in for Dwayne Haskins. Like, even if we got to trade, even if we got to make a big trade for the number one overall pick, like, 
we won't know until March 13th what the true intentions are, but, like, hair reports, we really like Haskins. So, um, I'd say, fu I'd say, fuck, even if we, like, I'd hate to do this, but even if we got to give up a first-round pick next year, just, just get our franchise quarterback. Like, I like everything about Haskins. Like, I think he's, like, I think it'd be worth it to go up and get him first overall. Like, because with Drake, because with uh, a draft day trade, we might be giving up less if he, you know, slips to us. But then we have to worry about other teams trading up and getting him. And then, you know, there's a possibility we don't get him. So, I mean, I don't care. What, I mean, at this point, I don't care what we got to do. Dwayne Haskins just needs to end up in a Jaguars uniform. We, we got to make that happen. If it costs us a pick next year... If it costs us a first-round pick next year, then, you know, it's going to suck, but fuck it. We got to do it to get our – we got to do it to get a franchise quarterback. I mean, teams got to do – I mean, teams had to do that before. Look at the Eagles when they traded for Carson Wentz or the Rams for Jared Goff. So, I mean, that's where I'm at with it. That's all – that's all I got. But, yeah, like, I think well, – yeah, I just think at this point, just leave the Nick Foles shit alone. So, that's what I got, man. I'm out.